Hello, hi, it's me, Cranberry. Welcome, 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 welcome back. <laughs> or for the first time, who knows? I think on average, like, every one of these videos gets, like, two or three new viewers for the first time, so... If this is your first time watching, congratulations. Uh, please come back <laughs> next time. Um, what are we doing here at the start? What's going on? What are we... Anything important to talk about? Uh, one thing that I should mention a little bit more actively... Me and Voyix are going to start uploading our uh, It Takes Two co-op series soon. I've probably mentioned it once or twice on the channel, but if I haven't, that's a thing. It happens soon. The, 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 it'll be alternating on the channel, so the first episode will be uploaded to Voyix's channel. Second one will come to mine, back and forth. I'm going to have to like tie Voyix down and waterboard him to figure out when we're going to start uploading these. The freaking slippery little eel is very elusive. Um, but... That'll happen sometime soon, who knows. Um, anyway, let's play train. Let's get in there. Uh, we did lose the last run because I made a bunch of dumb <laughs> dumb decisions. But you know what? Sometimes I like to think of myself more as a scientist of Monster Train. And you know what? Scientists, you know, it takes a lot of failures before you get successes. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to, you know, reanimate a body. Some people are just out here, you know. Just winning. Like, what the heck is up with that? Like, come on. I'm trying to... I'm trying to do a Frankenstein. Uh, pretty pretty good start here with Primordium. Wormkin, good clan to go with Primordium as well. Not the best, but not the worst. Superfood cut off, but we make good... Especially with these Echo Transfers, we make, we make good use out of Stalwart Snack in this run. So I'm pretty happy to play it. Um, yeah, that, that's about it right there, honestly. You know, I gotta, I gotta download. So you keep honestly. From now until I do it, I give you full permission to just constantly harass me about downloading, uh, uh, Dusk's uh, better train info mod or whatever it's called. Cause you know, I should, I should just have it. I don't know why I don't have it installed. Shoutouts to Dusk, a great, a great man, greater, uh, m modder. Does a lot of good stuff. One of the best things he's done, honestly. Light's Gift has to be good here, right? Right? Like, it has to be strong? Like, Echo Seedling, sure, it's fine, but, like, come on. Light's Gift gives us, like, a free game all the way up to Divinity. We just need a way to keep uh, Primordium alive top four, and we're set. We are set for life. Um. Maybe debatable here, but we could just play Superfood. And then that'll keep Primordium alive top floor. Take Superfood maybe two. Superfood two. And then uh, try to find Stalwart Snack one along the way. That seems like a reasonable line to me. Um, we got a pretty strong start here, but we have the we have the Divine Boon here. I'd rather just grab that one, I think. And I'm thinking, do we want to go Umber Banner? Maybe. But we, we could honestly just, you know, super, super pump up a, like an egg. Even, I feel like, with the Wormkin Banner here. And we have the Merchant of Steel that we have access to. Kind of like that. But we, if we take both boons, we get to flex even more in the shop. So let's do that. I think we'll be fine. This does cut us off from being able to plink enhanced backliners. We got Mark of Invasion here too with Light's Gift. Like, come on. It's, it's kind of just free real estate here. I feel like this should be good. We get a Train Steward in that opening hand too. We can... Um, I was hoping for, what's it called? I was hoping for a Plink, though, in this turn, so we could, you know, get a Morsel down here and dodge the Ember Drain. Not so lucky. Will you get the stats up? Um... I guess we'll save the rubble morsel. Okay, well we get to we get the double transfer here, which is nice. Um put this down here. Pick you. Maybe should have played one of these instead. Shouldn't be a huge deal though. Yeah, like we're we're cruising here. You're absolutely cruising. 
play Plink's top floor just to make sure we have enough uh, J.O. crystals in case we see a uh, Echo Transfer here. Looking less likely. We're already at four, right? We know we're at three. Ah, eh, we'll stick to three. What are the odds that we draw both Echo Transfers and then also no other purples? They like zero. Zero percent chance. Okay, and then, you know, sim simple, easy run. Um, I don't think I want Space Prism, man. Like, I don't think we need it, because we're not doing a real big feeding plan here. I might just want to take Mind Collapse for purple. Just to make sure we can have a better chance of playing these Echo Transfers when we see them. Not a bad spell, either. Echo Snare. It feels like a bridge too far. So I think we'll skip it. We don't need purple that badly. That will just we'll take a. We'll, I don't think we take a do nothing card basically. Um. I mean, like I could see us taking something like uh, something like right side here, finding an allied construct and is doing allied construct primordium. The problem is, is that we don't. You know, we need a way to reliably feed him. Superfood primordium might not be enough food. We would need to find Stalwart Snack, and even then, it's like a little bit dubious, right? If we have... Well, we have Stalwart Snack, and... Stalwart Snack 1, and then uh, Superfood 2. We will... Even if he gets eaten all five times, it's only 10 fuel for the Construct, and we have no guarantee that we can play any other Morsels on top floor right now. So I don't love it. I think I'd rather just get like a good Wormkin Banner unit here. Play it that way instead. Maybe a Keeper of Echoes or a Bog Chrysalis. Something like that could be good. Sweeper. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since we've seen Pogminder. But it is good to see you again, friend. I think we can even go quick on him, too. I think the Primordium should give us enough damage here. Hopefully, with the Echo Transfers, too. We'll have to, we'll have to keep that in mind. Um... And we need multi as well. Not large, so we need to, you know, fish for multi now, basically. That, that's that's exciting. Return of Pogminder. We should be able to take spikes here. I am not afraid. Okay, we're good here. We can play. We can play the whole hand out. Break first. Plank. Yeah, that's, that's GG for this round. Getting that turn one transfer is, uh, good. Now, I'd rather get the Collector than play Transfer, because I think we have enough damage as is, but, like, it is tempting. For sure. But, yeah, we're set. We are set. Plink, save me. Yo, Plink did it. Plink, Plink is, a uh, a good guy now. I can't believe it. Plink, Plink, uh, Plink is, a. Uh, Plink's heal heal arc is over now, basically. We're in a new a new age. Plink up here, play the burden. Plink, good try, Plink. I, I you know I applaud the effort there. Um, take one out. Pass it around. 98 plinks of, of, uh, or 98 bottles of plink on the wall, I guess sounds better. Yeah. A little bit better. Um. Hit him with the cave in. You love to see it. And what are we looking at here? Prismal Dust is an easy pickup. Easy pickup for sure here. And I kind of like bounding echoes over the third echo transfer. I feel like we need to make our bounding or our, our echo transfers purple. That feels correct to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I want to go left side here. Got to find that multi strike. Double, double quick. Imagine if double quick meant he just t attacked twice because he was so fast. Oh, and there we go. There you have it, folks. Glareminder is pogged up. 
He is ready to do it. Um, are we going magic shop here? Or are we going removals? I don't know. We're probably... We gotta find... I just realized we gotta find an infusion for this Glare Minder. Right now, I mean, he's doing great. Don't get me wrong. But he's he is just a vanilla Pog Minder. Is this awesome? I thought this was good. First off, fucking wild we put Pog Minder into here right now. He might do some sick stuff. I, I Honestly, I think we could just power up a, a train steward and make it through this potentially. I'd rather not risk it though. I would rather put... There's a couple of good choices, right? If we do Prismal Dust and we get the create a copy on discard effect, That'd be really strong, but if we get the money effect, it'll be weak. If we create uh, the the healing effect, hmm. You know what? Maybe mind collapse is the candidate here. If it's zero cost, we still get money out of it, right? Or if we if we get money, no, we, we want something we get cost reduction on, I guess. Maybe Anton Bristolt is fine. I really don't want multiple copies of Antumbra Assault, though. I don't want multiple copies of a lot of these cards, honestly. I think we go Mind Collapse. I think it's fine. If we get, if we get one of the cost reduction effects, it's not a big deal. And if we get the the Heaven's the, the, the healing effect, Heaven's Finest, I think is what it's called. If we get Bone Dog, if we get Bone Dog on this bad boy, we'll just, we just won't play it. And it'll be fine, as is. Keep our shard count low, because we're going to probably take some shards on the uh, temple coming up. I imagine quite a few, honestly, because, you know, we're probably going to find a unit here to infuse onto it. But we'll see how things go. Lairminder first to not get Ember Drain on my Super Fooder. Honestly, I'd rather just get, you know, just make sure we have enough J.O. Crystals up here. Okay. Not gonna lie, a little lame. There you go. Any echo transfers, any days now. Any any time. There we go. Guess we put it here. Doesn't matter who you put it on, I guess. Um go keep a lot of morsels in here post rotation post cycle through the deck you die on death here i guess you want to try to wait until relentless to play this prismal dust doesn't actually do much for us here oh we could chump with morsels actually to take the the extinguish hits that's honestly not bad. Let me do it. I think we do that. You cowards. Oh, transfer. We lose one damage shield. Not the end of the world. Also, I'll keep you alive for potential plink hits. Fuck you. Oh, I'm fucking up. Ah. <laughs> Gotta play the Morsel first. Oh, yeah, it's fine. We still win this combat either way, but I am playing slightly suboptimally, I suppose, which is what I'm upset about. Um. Eh, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. Hit you. Bop, bop. End the turn. We need to we need to reliably hit echo transfers while uh, Primordium is still alive. Otherwise, this is not going to work very well. I'll take echoes here. I think echoes is fine. Trout spike. I don't like it here that much. 
Um, I hate these. These are all bad infusions on Glareminder. So we'll probably end up going right side here to the Wormkin banner to look for an infusion instead. But these are all very stinky infusions. And then this is interesting. What do you do here? On one hand, card draw means we have a higher chance of seeing Echo Transfer sooner. On the other hand, uh, our deck's not exactly cheap, so energy isn't bad, and it's also good with Prismal Dust. I think we go card draw, though. Let me go here and look for our last chance to find a good infusion. Let's see what the banner's got for us. Mark of an Exile is just good. It's only 5 extra health, but 5 health on Primordium is a lot more than 5 health. Um, remove stewards. Let's look in the temple first, I guess, before we see the banner. Not that it should change much. Tough choice. Tough choice here. Honestly, heart of hearts. I think we take echo transfer first before the uh, presmal dust. I think they're both good. And even even then, you have to keep in mind that we don't have a high. We don't have a guaranteed chance of seeing enough Jo crystals. But if we if we if we take if we take uh, intrinsic echo transfer and then we see another intrinsic, we can intrinsic bounding echoes and then we can guarantee get the echo transfer off on turn one, which I think is pretty important. Also, let's let's see what primordium we're getting to here. That kind of matters as well. We get the stalwart snack. Yeah, I think we do this. Um, what's our infusion? Um. I don't think Shard Soul Carver is a bad infusion here. Some nice HP to start with. And then it's still the same inspiration trigger. Um, and I guess, like, I guess, I guess Glare Minder does cause a lot of strike triggers because it's a sweep attack. Every single unit is an individual strike trigger. But the question is, on a sweeper, is five AOE reap per hit a good thing? I don't think it's bad, but I think I'd rather just have higher attack to begin with. We're, we're not going to have a high crystal count on the floor anyway, because we're going to be echo transferring, echoes of the pasting, stuff like that. I don't think we get much value out of the Kinhus Vessel uh, infusion. This does cut us off from playing Morsels while Primordium's alive. That shouldn't be a big deal, though, I don't think. I think this is okay. You come in here. Shard Soul on the Pogminder. Um, Seek Stone. It is it is tricky now. Also, the, the, the math on it changes now too a bit. Because we have Stalwart Snack. So we know we're going to last a while. I kind of want to... I think I want to go Stalwart Snack too. And just take Prismal Dust here instead, actually. And just trust that we'll find the Echo Transfer fast enough. I think that's fine. We'll see though. Might be might be a, a wrong play. I don't know. It's, it's I feel like it's tough to say what the exact correct play is there. But this this seems pretty strong to me. Mark of Invasion is just absurdly free here. Ordering very important here. Like so. Um, I think we need the damage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, collector. Not today. I think it's really important to have that right now. Everyone, everyone's dying this round. Okay, we'll put this here then. Sick. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, we're gonna get a big echoes here. That's nice. Um, Plink getting a boy down. Echoes it up. And this this seems good. Although I would like, you know what I think I want to do actually. I think, and maybe I'm wrong about this. I think we're going double card draw. I think the best uh, card for us to intrinsic next is actually the bounding echoes. Just to make sure that we have enough crystals to play 
these cards on turns two, three, four, etc. Right? I think that's really important because if we miss them, we're screwed. And if we see them on turn one, we're also screwed. If we see them on turn one, we don't have a way to make them playable. We're fucked. But I think I think that's like a really important insurance policy for us there. Um. I mean, as you can see, though, 200, 200 times two quick sweep is enough to win the whole game. But we're we're sitting pretty right now. I am I am. We're we're all about we're making our deck consistent. As long as we're consistent, this deck's gonna just win every time. There you go. Plus thirty. And uh, that's it. Almost one shot the boss there. Or I guess two shot if you're being technical, but you know. You know how it is. I don't like Feast here that much. I think Engine Upgrade's pretty good here. I was saying before we could use some energy. We're only playing one floor, so this seems fine. I don't hate a Soul Crushing Guilt in this deck. I feel like um, it's extra insurance to make sure Primordium lives long enough on divinity seems fine to me it does cost a net two jo crystals which is important to note i don't think that's going to be a big deal it's always freaking this has to be weighted man i'm telling you like two-thirds of the time i see heaven's aid from this event um it's also not heaven's finest it is heaven's aid um i mean you can hang on to it man we don't need it you're not going to disappoint me you're going to disappoint me i know what the effect is it's not great um, Steel Shop isn't that great here. Cavern could be cool. I think we just go left side though, man. Duping. What do you dupe here? Probably another Bounding Echoes, honestly. Just to really hammer home the fact that we want a bunch of purple cards in this deck. Even though most of the cards in our deck are also already purple. I think it's the card that we want. Although, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we want... Oh, hold on. Let's go, let's go left. Let's remove train stewards. And let's look at the temple here. Let's see if we can make an informed decision here based on what's in the temple. Twin stone. Twin stone, purge stone. Don't like this. Just in general, pretty bad, I feel like. Bunch of temples here, though. I think, you know, I'll take a purge stone for the sake of keeping up shard count. Perched on a plank here seems fine to me, although maybe... Honestly, Antumbra Assault's really stinky in this deck, too, and at least plank is purple. And targetless, very important to note as well, requires no target. Antumbra Assault, not purple, requires targets, therefore trash. Um... Yeah, I think I like second Bounding Echoes. It's gonna feel a lot worse if we do find an Intrinsic, but, like, whatever, man, is the thing. We just want purple cards, I feel like, right now. Fifteen armor? We'll we'll scale up in time, I'm pretty sure, to handle the back line here. Hopefully. No no damage shield here, right? We don't need it. We need we need purple. I don't even want a Morsel Man. I should have played Echo Break. My brain brain legit broke right in front of me. Um, thing there for now. There we go. Now we're getting that scaling that we need. Purge up the, the, the thing here. Make sure we're still purple on top floor. That's, you know, now we're doing 110 damage. And uh, that's another another dub on this round. I, I believe my man does in fact get there.
that. Cool, cool, tight, tight, cool, tight, cool, cool, tight. Um, I don't want to prematurely say this round's over because I can, you know, again, there, there's some inconsistency problems with this deck. We could definitely lose to ourselves here. Just go four rounds with our echo transfers at the bottom of the deck and we just die. That's definitely a possibility on this run. So, don't want to get too cocky. Um, this is all pretty stinky. Gem Trove, in theory, is not bad with Superfood, but like, it's just not that good of a play. Or energy, it's our whole turn. No thank you. Second Echoes of the Pass, I think, is pretty playable in this. Resonance, we don't need it. We have a backline answer in uh, Hogminder already, so no thank you. Okay, what do you got for me? This event would be so much better if you had the option just to say keep this. I mean, this card is good. I don't want to get rid of it. But I feel like I would just much prefer the ability to give you the card and then just not take it back ever again. Is that so much to ask? Like, I don't know, man. That's my petition that I want you to sign today. Let me, let me, let the, let the, let the angel man keep the card. Um, I don't want to really remove here. We already got rid of all of our training stewards and our purple cards are actually pretty important for us here. We don't need any more unit upgrades. So it's really free, free trinket versus trinket shop, health and money. I'll go, I'll go trinket shop, health and money here. We have, we have tons of money to spend in the, in the trinket shop if we want. We are rich as hell conscription notice not good here we just don't have enough space and i don't see us taking a space upgrade just for a conscription notice unit seems pretty terrible shadow box laughably blad blad laughably bad as well i think secretly forever flame is good here because we have that intrinsic pr prismal dust this is basically just giving us one extra energy in our, our first turn not a great deal for 210, but in this deck, honestly, there's not much room for improvement, I feel like, so this should be okay. Bog Slime, uh, like, fantastic here. Again, we need Chris Purple. This makes us purple. And then Lost Luggage also makes a lot of sense here to me. Right? Because then we get a big opening hand. Should be able to find those Echo Transfers and Purple cards easily to play them. To me, that's just a slam dunk right there. That, that just seems really strong. Um... Now, the, e the best way I can see us losing this game is to have me forget that we need to have enough uh, shards by the end here. So let's, uh, let's pump up some cards here, huh? Let's go, let's go extreme true stone and tumbra assault so we can actually kill something in the end game. And let's uh, move on with our lives. Oh, I forgot to mention at the start here, by the way. <laughs> uh, I, I, apologies in not in not much advance, but apologies for uh, this video upload being a little bit late. Uh, yeah, it is a busy day at work. Um, and also, they gave me the wrong schedule, too. I had, to, I had to go in two hours earlier than I expected to. So my plan was wake up, record Monster Train, go to work. I woke up and they were like, Hey, Jake, you're going to be here at 11? And I was like, oh, okay, I'll be there at 11. So, you know, goof, goof my whole schedule up, unfortunately. Not a big deal, though. Should be up at like 6, 6.30 if I had to guess. So, you know, you know how it is. We'll echo transfer, or not echo transfer, we'll, we'll play that first so we can, you know, play these boys with extra crystals on the field. Again, superfood, be cognizant, be mindful. I think we'll play this down here. This here. This here. You could just do it for, you know what? I'll just do it for the bog crystal, the, the, the bog slime. I think it's fine. Okay. You don't want to freaking die. <laughs> no, okay. Well, we heal. We're already at full. 
Nothing matters. I guess we could have played it for uh, uninspire on top floor. I don't know. Echo transfer is a better rate of crystal to uh, attack given. So we'll do this and we'll do that. So the question is here, do you go do you, do you go stalwart snack two or do you go superfood two? I think if you had asked me 10 minutes ago, I would have said we should go stalwart snack two. But as you can see here, the, especially with that lost luggage, our deck is now just so streamlined that I think we just want to go superfood two to make sure that we have some starting damage shield on primordium so it doesn't get swept away by divinity. I think that's better now at this point in time. Um. Yeah. The end. Um. There you go. Got some morsels in here too, I guess, which is a thing. Not going to be that relevant, I feel like, but whatever. Love the double echoes of the past. I mean, if I understand correctly, they don't do nothing, but it's like, you know, equivalent as if we just played Echo Break here. Same number of damage gained. Because the echoes of the past leaves you with one. Oh, it doesn't leave you with one. It actually takes the crystal that it, it, it generates too. Okay. Yeah, I should have realized that's how it works with, like, you know, extract interactions, too. For some reason, I thought it worked differently, though. I don't know, whatever, who cares? Almost got the pre-relentless kill here, actually. Wow. Damn. Okay, like, it, I get it. It's a joke. Haha, -ha, very funny. Stop giving me both in the same turn, please. Okay. Hold on. There you go. You know what? We need to kill him. Ex well, express delivery one Pogminder. It's, it's for the score, okay? It's very important for the score here. Play it this way. I mean, Umbra Stone, it's extremely overkill, but like, like how, how do you not? Is, is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Um, at this point, I think we go energy. Because we have the lost luggage, so we want to make sure we can play all of our cards in the opening hand. And I think we already pretty reliably set up our cards here. I think this will just make the, uh, the Prismal Dust a little bit better too, which is good. Yeah, the end. Um, what do you do here? Tough choice, honestly. I don't hate the cave. We could find, you know, uh, an extra upgrade for Glareminder, right? Some cool stuff there. Sunderstone would be nice. Um, left side, though, we get some just reliably good things. We get, like, the cost downs for that Umbra Stone we foolishly took. We get to maybe give, I don't know. Founding Echoes of Permafrost or something. We can do good stuff here. Um, on left side. Right side, though, it's pretty sick if we, like, I don't know. We can duplicate plenty of things. Maybe. Get to remove some some Plinks out of here, potentially, too. Get to remove Caven. You know, yeah, fuck Caven, man. Give me right side. Aiden, frig off, dude. I know you just got me a, a, a boss kill one turn earlier, but frig you, man. Value stone, twin stone. Oh, and a seek stone too, actually. I like a seek stone here. Getting a guarantee. Uh, oh, what do you do with? You know, I think I think at this point, like we obviously generate quite a few purple on our first turn. I think you just make the echoes of the past intrinsic for a big a big damage dump turn one. That makes sense to me. Personally. And then...
Prismal Dust duplicated seems bad because it's intrinsic. What do you want more copies of? It can't be Plank. It's not Plank because it has to be Mind Collapse over Plank, if anything. I think it's Banding Echoes. I think just more Banding Echoes is probably good. <laughs> just, you know, again, just more purple. Just more purple cards. Cost zero. It's purple. Game over. Um... You know, we're never going to take damage to our Pyre. I think we take the time here, maybe, to give a little uh, little stamp to Gift of Gratitude here, huh? little Gift of Gratitude stamp, maybe? Seems like a good a time as any. Um, put a Dark Forge here. I think the answer is Superfood, too. I think it's like a tiny bit better here because I think we only need those five turns to really get set up here on this run. Plus eight attack, a little spooky. I just real. I'm a dumbass. I'm so stupid. It took me up until fucking ring seven to realize I took quick on glare minder when I had lights gift. What the fuck is wrong with me? God damn it. We're going to take this. I'm so stupid, man. We should be able to handle the curses, no problem, I think, here. Um, Not much purple in this opening hand, though, I gotta say. A little... A little upsetting. Here you go. Boop. Boop. I don't even think you play the Echoes here. I think you go Transfer. You can do some stuff here. You go, I think you go just transfer first. And you do something like this. Play that there. Okay. Hmm. Come down here, murder him. Do some... We need double plank here. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. We need we need purple up here for sure. Get these out of our deck. I don't want to see him again. Okay. We are probably leaking a little bit of damage here, it looks like. Not a ton, but a little bit. If you get one hit to Pyre, don't worry, our our Mind Collapse will save us from that. Oh, I forgot, yo, Bog Slime, Bog Slime, actually with the, the, uh, Bounding Echoes play, dupe makes a lot of sense now to me, at least. I feel better about that pickup. Um, end the turn there. Get some health back to the Pyre. Yo, these curses are fucking me up, man. Like, we're fine still, but it is definitely annoying. And with some plinky with the binky. Bop. 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 There you go. So you only took, like, uh, seven damage. Maybe we'll even draw it again. Flank him. Pass. Look at that. Look at that. You love to see it. Heaven's Aid coming in clutch here, healing me for 15 damage. Oh, baby. Score saved. Um... I'm not taking- no matter how many purple feasts you give me, I'm not taking them, game. I don't want that shit. Soul Siphon may be actually playable in this- in this run, I feel like. That'd actually be a sick card to, uh... To give Intrinsic to here in this- uh, well, there's no temple here at the end. What am I talking about, man? Oh, we gotta go left side. We gotta dupe- well, we don't have to dupe anything. We could just take the Divine Boon, I suppose. We're gonna go left side here. This is just trash for us. This is a big old dumpster heap. 
unless there's a pirate uh pirate sun housing in the in the trinket shop here is there a pirate sun housing no redeemed uh hell's banner great here turn one we get two units in the deck so we get a big pump and energy that we immediately put into not immediately but we put into the uh prismal dust here so i like that you, these are all stinky though you roll uh this is also all trash so no thank you to the rest of that i think you want to lower the cost of in I think, I think, honestly, Echoes is a pretty good cost lowering because it lets us play Prismal Dust into Echoes of the Past on our opening turn, which is pretty good. Because Prismal Dust, A, it's consumed, so it gives us a, a J.O. Crystal there uh, for that, that Echoes. That, that seems solid to me. Surge Stone on a Plink seems good. Roll again. What do you freeze stone here? I don't think you ever freeze on the bounding echoes. I'm of a couple of minds here. On one hand, I think the correct card straight up is just soul crushing guilt. I think that's the best card to freeze here because it might actually be useful to us to have frozen. But on the other hand, I think it's also kind of logical to freeze gifts of gratitude. Our intent is to not play gifts of gratitude. We want to stamp this card. So if we freeze this, it basically, I mean, this card is acting as a curse. If we freeze it, it's a curse that goes away after the first time we draw it, right? I think there's I think there's logic to both of those. I think we'll just put it on the Soul Crushing Guild, though. I think we can live with an extra curse in here. Um, put this in Umbra Stone to make it more playable. Power Stone. On Mind Collapse, in case we have to play it. And then we probably just remove an Echo Break. Again, Plink is targetless, so it's actually kind of better in this deck, but they're both pretty bad. Forgot about the Divine Boon. Is there a card I want to Hellvent for 10 shards? That I can't Hellvent for 10 shards? Or are we better off... Are we better off just taking the Divine Boon here? I think so. Need Divine Boon. I think you just, again, copy Bounding Echoes. I think you remove another Echo Break. Okay, that seems, that seems all pretty solid to me. Seraph the Temperant, annoying for sure, with superfood, but I think we can outscale pretty severely. So I'm not worried. Oh, this is a good hand. Hogminder comes down, Primordium comes down, if you trample right away. Wasn't paying attention, should have Soul Siphon first. You know, I ain't, I ain't replaying this. But we'll manage. You want a Soul Siphon? No, you don't want a Soul Siphon even into it now. We should have played it first. Or anything. Do this. Should have played Mind Collapse too, honestly. Bam. Okay. Hit him. Quit him. Bippity boppity boop him. Solid. We can play like an engine upgrade on this floor. There's no really. We're not planning on playing morsels afterwards, so it's fine, I suppose. There you go. Big damage trample in there. Um Guess we'll just keep slow crushing guilt frozen for now. A lot of extra JO crystals. A lot of extra ones there. Okay. Wrap it up, boys. Let's take this one home. It's over. Take an Ember Drain. I don't mind. The fill up here. I guess we're already going to be filled up, but whatever. Uh, 
that down. God, I am so stupid. The quick, the the quick play. Yeah, it, it it it's definitely me being dumb, but it's just so like it's so it's such a hard instinct to break of being like, oh, I have a sweeper. Quick, <laughs> put quick on it. And I gotta gotta break that habit. Um, just thinking here. Pretty good. No, no pre-relentless, unfortunately, but what, what are you going to do, right? Get down. A little extra pump there. A little gift of gratitude. How are you doing? Quick murder, slight stat bump there. And does does Seraph get to even attack us here? No attacks. Cool. Um, this should more or less be the same story for Divinity, so you can just fast forward. To, I give you I give I give you permission from this point onwards if you would like to just fast forward to the end of the video. It's it, this is a wrap. Um, okay, remember, Soul Siphon first, then you Glare Minder, then you Primordium. Probably should have Bounding Echoes first actually there too. So, misplay alert, misplay alert. A big, big turn, look at that. A <laughs> hundred attack, six damage shield. On my stalwart snacked up boy. You do enjoy seeing it. Absolutely caked up as the kids would say. I think. I've been told that's what the kids would say in this situation. Let's hit him with the crush. You know. Be a little, be a little, you know, proactive here about the sweep damage. What we took it for. Make Primordium last longer. He was, you know, was at no threat of dying, but now at least he's, you know, even better than before. One fifty attack. This has gotta be the most I've ever had Pogminder pog up, I gotta say. I struggle to imagine a more pogged up boy. Hit him with the soul crush. No attacks allowed. And I believe, yeah, that's a wrap right there. Only 500 health remaining. Sick run. Everyone, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Just playing it out optimally here. You gotta love it. You gotta, you gotta, I mean, you don't have to love it. You can choose to hate it, I suppose. That's what the, the anonymous dislike button is for now. Um, yeah, hey. Hopefully you enjoy that. I'll give you the seed and I will send you on your way. Hopefully you have a good day or night or whatever. Also very important that, that gift of gratitude stamp extremely pivotal let's see how we're doing stamp progress wise here what, what are our what are our uh cards we need to stamp so i know we just got uh what's it called shoot what is it called we just got a spike driver colony stamp what do we need what do we need left to stamp um i'm oh, sorry clanless bone shine and bone rattler <laughs> oh no okay that should be that should be fun to handle. What were the other ones that we had to do still? I think it's Vine Mother. Vine Mother and some other bullshit uh sapwood. 
Vine Mother, Sapwood, and uh, Formless Child are the last ones remaining here. And then we are finished with the logbook. It's over. Uh, seed. 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 Learn Senior Neural. <laughs> Have a good one and goodbye.